Well, what's up, everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com, QuantumGravityResearch.org. So check it out. Um, a lot of you were asking me about the fixture that I've been using for magnetizing. You wanted to know some questions about it. You wanted to know uh, how much resistance it's got, maybe some of the other values. So I'm going to do just that. So let's take a look and see what we have. All right. So I'm going to set this to uh, 100 hertz. And... Um, Let's check the resistance. It's about 0.049 of an ohm. And uh, let's go ahead and change the frequency to 120. I think that's common, 120. So it's about 0.0521 of an ohm. That's pretty low. The impedance is about 0.4224 of an ohm at 120 hertz. And the induct inductance is about what 555 micro Henry so we can change the frequency there's 10 kilohertz 381 micro Henry so um, yeah there's some of the parameters capacitance if you'd like to know and the uh, the resistance at 10k is 2.3 ohms so just for fun, let's go ahead and drop in a uh, let's go ahead and drop in these cores just to see what the uh, see what the inductance value is. So it's at fifty five hundred and fifty or five five zero micro Henry. So if I put in the cores, there's about seven hundred and forty eight. Micro Henry. Anyway, yeah. All right. Well, that's uh, basically that's what the uh, the measurements are on this thing. I know some of you were asking, so now you have your answer. Let's look at the construction of this coil for a little bit that we can see. All right. So this fixture is water coil, water cooled. And uh, basically there are two high power leads, okay, that come inside of this thing. And those are regular um, conductors. And then on the side here you've got uh, your water cooling coming in, coming in. Now, what's interesting about this, and this is going to be hard to see, so let's just see if I can get in there. What's interesting about this is down inside of there, let's see if we can get inside there and see that. See that little copper thing inside there? The water line comes in and the electrical point comes in. Okay, And these two points come together and the water line actually turns into a copper pipe and the electrical line is just connected to that copper pipe. The copper pipe is coiled inside of here, comes out the other side, disconnects from the water electrical and connects back to the copper conductor electrical. Now, in theory, the water would be energized here, too. So, there could be a possible, um, you know, safety concern, but I don't think so because of how this thing's configured. The electric current's always connected back to itself. <clears throat> I don't know, I could check that across the water, put a, a voltmeter in the water and see if we can get any voltage out of it. But, um, that's basically it. I mean, that's all this thing is. It's just a bunch of hollow copper coil with the uh, water running through it connected to a discharge capacitor. Um, this stuff is that uh, special grade um, fiberglass material that's used for electrical and uh, it looks like it's been wrapped with the same and it is epoxy this whole thing's been set in epoxy and cleared and you can see it's been kind of coated here and there um, you can see some of the epoxy down there I believe I couldn't get this off or apart so it's uh, you know this is the best I can do for you but um, but yeah that's the basic uh, that's the basic coil so uh, anyway that's what that looks like. 